Stephen Phil, former Marine Corporal. Eddie Ray Rout apologized to the families of slain Navy SEAL Chris Kyle and another man in a rambling videotaped interrogation that sparked fireworks Monday in an area county courtroom. Rout confessed to the killings and admitted he knew what he had done was wrong during the 90-minute questioning by Texas Ranger Danny Riley just hours after the February 2, 2013, shootings. But he also babbled incoherently through most of the interrogation, talking about communism taking over America, playing chess, pig excrement and insomnia and saying he had to kill the two men before they killed him. It was a need to get out of there today, he told Riley. I was going to be the next one getting my head shot off. If I didn't take out his soul, he was going to take my soul next. The videotaped interview was played for jurors Monday in Rout's capital murder trial. Rout, 27, of Lancaster, is charged in the deaths of Kyle, 38, and Kyle's friend Chad Littlefield, 35, both of Midlothian, at a shooting range at Upscale Rough Creek Lodge and Resort near Glen Rose, southwest of Fort Worth. Defense attorney Tim Moore challenged the interrogation, suggesting through questioning that Rout's answers were the nonsensical ramblings of someone suffering from psychosis and other mental illnesses. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Moore asked. District attorney Alan Nash fired back, however, highlighting Rout's confessions and his admissions that he did no right from wrong. Rout's attorneys have indicated he will seek an insanity defense meaning he suffered from severe mental illness at the time and that he did not know what he had done was wrong. If convicted, Routh would automatically face life in prison without a role because Nash has indicated he is not seeking the death penalty. If found not guilty by reason of insanity, Routh would face up to life in a state mental hospital. Routh told Riley he'd like to apologize to the families, if he could. I'd tell them I'm sorry for what I've done, he said. If I could have done it differently, I would have done it differently. He also admitted fleeing the scene, but then at times he also suggested he thought what he had done was right. I fled, he told Riley. I didn't know what else to do. I didn't know what was right. I didn't know what was wrong. When pressed by Riley about whether he understood that his actions were wrong, Routh said, yes, sir, then added, with a puzzled look, would it have been all right if I had stayed? Routh also told Riley that he shot the men at close range, saying, I didn't mean to be so close. After he shot them, he said, they laid there, and they weren't breathing anymore. He said he had been running on pure adrenaline and finally felt safe at the Lancaster police station because he was surrounded by officers. My adrenaline was so high, I didn't know what was right or wrong, he said. I mean, I knew what was right. I left, you know. Jurors also heard several voice messages left by Routh on Kyle's cell phone while they were trying to make arrangements to go to the shooting range. Several messages were straightforward and direct but one hinted at underlying problems. In that message, he noted it was kind of a sad day but continued, it's a good sad. Rain will come and rain will leave. Briley suggested Routh's comments were philosophical. He said the pronouncements were Eddie being Eddie. Routh sat quietly for most of the testimony and videos, though several of his family members sat in the courtroom with tears streaming down their faces as he babbled in the video. Kyle's widow, Taya, was not present for some of the videotaped confession but she returned in time to hear defense attorney Moore's challenging questions. Routh is being defended by court-appointed attorneys Moore and J. Warren Street John, both of Fort Worth, and Arshay Arsham of Stephenville. Nash is joined in the prosecution by Assistant Attorney General James Darns. Testimony is set to resume Tuesday in State District Judge Jason Cashone's courtroom. The state is expected to rest its case Tuesday, clearing the way for the defense to begin presenting its own evidence. Staff writer Tasha T. S. I. Russ contributed to this report. At a glance, in court Monday what happened, jurors heard the videotaped confession of accused killer Eddie Ray Routh in a rambling 90-minute interrogation that also included Routh expressing doubts about whether he believed his acts were wrong. What stood out? A clash between defense attorney Tim Moore and district attorney Alan Nash over the details of Routh's interrogations. Moore suggested Routh's nonsensical answers indicated he suffered from psychosis. Nash said Routh told Texas Ranger Danny Riley that he knew what he had done was wrong. What's next? Prosecutors are expected to rest their case Tuesday. The defense will then begin presenting evidence to show Routh was mentally ill and did not know right from wrong.